number 70. Classify each substance in the table as either a metallic, ionic, molecular, or covalent network solid. And then we have our three substances here, so X, Y, and Z. And we just have to figure out which one of these substances is the metallic, the ionic, molecular, or covalent network solid. Now, in order to do this, we have to know and memorize the properties of each crystalline solid. There's four different types of crystalline solids, ionic, metallic, covalent network, and molecular. Now, the top two, ionic and metallic, deal with um, metals, and the bottom two, covalent network and molecular, they deal with nonmetals. But now we just have to put the pieces you know, together to figure out which substance is which. So let's go for substance X first. Now substance X, we read it across, has all of these components. It's lustrous and malleable, okay? So it's got a luster to it, right? Lustrous means that it has a luster, and any anything that has a luster has a, a shine to it. So it's very, very shiny. It's got a crazy high melting point. In the, in the grand scheme of things, if we look at these three melting points, I mean, 1,500, 1,500 is the highest out of 113 and 800. So this is a high uh, melting point. It conducts electricity high. So that means that if you try to probe it, it's going to make a light bulb turn on. And high electrical conductivity, this is the component in which we should automatically know what type of of substance it is. If you have a high electrical conductivity, this is always going to be a metallic crystalline solid. All the other ones do not conduct electricity, you know, to the degree that a metallic crystalline solid will. Um, also, it's insoluble in water, but there are some other substances that are also insoluble. So this key here is the one that will tell you specifically that it's metallic. And if we just look at the properties of a metallic type of solid, uh, it says that it conducts heat and electricity very well. So there it is. So it conducts heat and electricity. If we just look at the other ones... Ionic only conducts electricity as a liquid, but not a solid. So there's differences there. Covalent network, not conductive. And molecular, not conductive. So anytime that they're talking about high electrical conductivity, and they, you know, it's obviously high, we know for a fact that this is metallic. That's the giveaway. So it's a, a metallic uh, solid. Okay, moving on to the next one. Why? Why? Let's see. It's soft yellow, right? So it's not shiny. It doesn't give off that metalish appearance. Um, and it's soft. So this has nothing to do with uh, metals. So we automatically know that, you know, if you're talking about something that's soft, we're dealing with the non-metal category here. Your metals are going to pick up your, uh, the hardness of, of the appearance. So now we know that we're down to these two. These two are the non-metals. So maybe I'll just put that over here. In the realm of the non-metals. Now, they did tell us that it's 113 degrees Celsius is the melting point. If we look at the other ones, I mean, 113 is relatively very low. It's a low melting point. It's got no electrical conductivity, and it's insoluble in water. But I'm looking for one of my nonmetals that has a very, 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 very low melting point. And if we look at the two of them here, covalent network versus molecular, covalent networks have very high melting points, whereas molecular ones have very low melting points. So we were able to uh, bring it down to two of them by just saying that it's soft, right? And that just means um, not hard. So another reason why it's not a covalent network is because covalent networks are very, 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 very hard. Um, so it's got to be molecular. 
So in this case, we know that Y is going to be a molecular solid. And the last one, X, Y, and Z. Let's see what's going on here. Okay, Z is hard. We're back to hard appearance. So we know that since it's hard, this has to be in the metal category. As well as the covalent uh, network as well. So maybe I won't say that it's just metals because it could be covalent. Okay, it's white appearance. Just has a type of uh, look to it. 800 degrees Celsius, not really in the realm of low. Can't really say that it's a low melting point. Can't really say that it's a high melting point. It's kind of right in the middle. But this is the key, that if it's only conducting electrical activity, if it's melted, it does not conduct electricity when it's in the solid form, only when that substance is melted. Just like the metallic, if you see high electrical conductivity, we know it's metallic. If you see that something is being melted only when it's being dissolved, this is ionic. And it says right here, it says conducts electricity as a liquid, but not as a solid. So that's the very, very special property for only ionic solids. So Z is a ionic solid. And there you go. I mean, they gave us extra stuff, solubility in water, but eh, we could, we, you know, we basically got the answers from appearance, melting point, and electrical conductivity. But this is basically the answer. Let's box it off and pull out a video. I'm not going to color this whole thing. That would be crazy. But I am crazy sometimes. But I won't, I won't do it today. So anyway, thanks for tuning in. Hopefully this helped you out. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out. And I hope you're having a great day out there. Keep studying hard. I'm rooting for you guys on your quizzes and tests. I'll talk to you soon. Okay, bye-bye.